Hey, what's up everybody? This is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's lesson we're going to be checking out Hit the Road Jack by Ray Charles. I'll be showing you guys the chorus in this video, and it looks something like this. Here we go. Alright, so that's all we're going to get through in this video, but the rest of the videos with the rest of the song can all be found over at hdpiano.com. I'm going to be teaching you guys the full melody version, but also an accompaniment version if you're singing or playing with a singer. And I'll also be throwing some improv tips your way in case you want to bust out a little solo in the middle. Alright, so before I dive in and break this down for you guys, i got a quick question um, when I was doing my research before this lesson. I found out that this song was not actually written by Ray Charles. I kind of had assumed that it was, seeing as he's the one who popularized it, but it was not. So my question is, can you name any other famous songs with unexpected composers, uh, where you thought that the artist wrote the song, but in fact it was written by someone else? One of the first things that comes to mind for me is uh, Smile. It's written by Charlie Chaplin. I remember I was very surprised when I first learned that. So. Surprise me in the comments below with your own little musical fact, songwriting facts 101. All right, let's dive in. So we are in the key of A flat minor. And we've got this descending bass line throughout the whole entire piece. So this alone, if you just played this the whole time, I mean, you can get through the piece. Like that's that's the main identifiable piece uh, part of this song. Um, and it's A flat to G flat to F flat, but we're just going to refer to it as E for simplicity's sake, and E flat. So in the key of A flat minor, we have the 1, the flat 7, the flat 6, and the 5. So we start this piece by just playing that bass line, nice long half notes. That's once, and we do it twice. And then on the final note, we hit this staccato E flat 7 chord. So our left hand hangs there on the E flat, and our right hand jumps up to D flat, G, B flat, and E flat. Hit that nice and short, and then we're into the song. Um, yes. All right, so there's your intro for you, nice and slow. Now, the left hand is just going to continue with that bass line um, pretty much through the whole piece. We're going to talk about some variations later on, um, but for this video, that's all we're working with, so it's pretty simple. Now, let's take a look at the melody. So, if you know your A-flat minor pentatonic scale, It's using those notes, but it's actually barely using the G flat. I only play it sometimes by accident. We're really only working with A flat, B, D flat, and E flat. So those four notes, um, you know, and then of course taking up the octave, A flat, B, E flat. Um, within that range, the whole entire melody is derived from those four notes. So hit the road, Jack. So let's refer to it um, with numbers rather than note names. So we have our one, the root of the chord. We have our third, it's the minor third. We have our fourth, and we have our fifth. So we go five, three, four, three, one, one. Now it's easy to say it with numbers, but I think the best way to learn and to really make it stick and build that bridge between your fingers and your brain is to sing the lyrics while you play them on the piano. Hit the road, Jack. Um, that way you can make sure that it you know, kind of makes sense. The way you're playing it matches the way you would sing it. All right, so that's how I would play the first line. And notice that I'm swinging it. It's not hit the road, Jack. It's not very straight and rigid. It's kind of got this jazz swing, like, lilt to it. So hit the road, Jack. So you want to make sure that you're fitting into that pocket. And it's a pickup. So one, three, four, a one, two, three, 
Right, so it comes in on beat four. So it's gonna be, it's gonna get there a little bit before the bass line. Uh, it comes back to the top. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Right, let's try it again. Very nice. All right. So what comes after that? Don't you come back no more. Again, we're still just working with those same four notes. So we start with one, three, three, four, four, three, five, five, and then up to one, one, three, three, one. So, and don't you come back no more. And these are just steady quarter notes here. Two E flats, two A flats, two Bs, and a final A flat. So let's try the whole melody, even a little slower, um, in context. One, two, three, four, one, here we go. Hit the road, Jack. So it immediately repeats back into the hit the road, Jack. I could break down the rhythm of all this for you, but I think the best way to learn is to just sing it while you play it. Um, because I think your instincts will be right in this case because it's such a singable melody. All right? Uh, so one, two, one more time. So how did I end it? And don't you come back no more. So one, three, three, four, four, one, one. Okay, so we've got the whole melody of the chorus. There's just a few things left to add. Right, that little horn stab that we hear um, after Jack, pretty much every time. Hit the road, Jack. Uh. So what is that? It's a very short, very staccato A flat minor um, first inversion triads. That's B, E flat, and A flat. And it just comes after hit the row, jack three, and four. So on the end of three, and we just kind of want to jump up to it, hit it real quick, and get back to the melody. So it happens there, and it happens here. Okay, so all that's left is that little surprise um, that I just played for you right now. And that's the, that's the, uh, what, what you say when he chimes in there. And so what's going on? We, let's see, don't you come back, uh, and don't you come back no more. I start to double the octave on G flat in my right hand, and then I catch what you say. So my left hand doesn't change. And that's three and four and one. Uh, or one and two and three, four, rather. So E and A flat, and then we land again on the and of three, uh, sorry, and of two, one and two and, yes. And of two on our E flat seven chord from the intro. D flat, G, B flat, E flat. So don't, uh, don't you come back no more. Start doubling it, and then. And then the last time when we're going into a verse, don't you come back no more. We just double it and play it till the end. And then Ray comes in with the verse. So that's all we've got. Um, I'll go ahead and play it down once more for you guys. And then I'll see you over at hdpiano.com to learn the rest. So here we go. Oops, here we go. You know, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Since I played it at full speed at the beginning, I'll play it, you know, maybe like 75%. Here we go.
All right, good work, my friends. Make sure you're practicing this with a metronome um, and just, you know, getting in that swing feel. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. We'll see you for the rest over at hdpiano.com. Um, while you're here, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing on YouTube and following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz, that would be great. And that way you can stay in the know about any upcoming tutorials. My name's Devin with hdpiano.com. We'll see you guys soon.